Hi, I'm Sergeant Melissa Chang. It is my privilege to take you on a virtual tour of the Charlotte County Jail. The Bureau of Detention's jail facility is located in Punta Gorda, Florida and was built in 2001. The jail is run by dedicated certified, civilian, and contract staff members whose main goal is to ensure the safety of our inmate population as well as our community. We are always looking for dedicated team members. Human Resources can advise you more on positions that may be available at this time. So, let us start our tour and provide you with some information about our facility and daily operations. The Charlotte County Jail is run by the Bureau of Detention. The Detention Bureau's leadership team includes a major and two captains. Administrative services encompasses intake, medical, and contract employees. Operations encompasses the watch commander and the four housing squads. The CCSO offers a great benefit package for staff. One additional benefit is an on-site gym for use by our members. The gym includes weight equipment as well as various cardio machines. Members have access to lockers, showers, and bathroom facilities. The jail is a direct supervision facility, meaning that officers are stationed directly with the inmates and conduct face-to-face -face daily management. The facility is broken up into various housing units where the inmate population is kept. The Charlotte County Jail houses males, females, contract inmates, and on occasions, juvenile offenders. Approximately 64 inmates are assigned to each general population unit, with one officer assigned. Each inmate is classified based on their previous charges, current charges, and behavioral history to ensure proper supervision is maintained. The control center is the eyes and ears of the facility. Staff are manned in the control room 24-7, to monitor the numerous cameras that are throughout the building. Members diligently look for suspicious activity and make sure the deputies and fellow staff are safe. The control room also monitors all radio traffic and announces to supervisors any emergencies throughout the jail. When an inmate is arrested or transported to the facility, they are brought into intake. They must have proper paperwork detailing the reason for their confinement. Most new inmates arrive with a new arrest affidavit or booking paperwork detailing their charges. This office area is where most of the booking paperwork is handled by our civilian jail techs. They enter data such as the arrestee's charges, demographics, and bond information. They also prepare the paperwork for the arrestees to attend court for their first appearance. From this area, they can communicate with the road deputies and warrants division regarding their paperwork. This is the booking area where new arrestees are held while being processed before moving into general population. Because of how many responsibilities the deputies have in the intake area, it is considered a specialty position. When a new arrestee first arrives at the jail, they come in through that sally port. The intake deputy meets the road deputy and asks a few questions about the detainee, such as their demeanor and what their charges are. Before removing the arrestee from the patrol vehicle, they are assessed for injuries and asked if they have any drugs or weapons in their possession. Once removed from the vehicles, they are brought into the pre-intake area where they are pat searched for contraband items and personal property. Their property is inventoried and photographed and all money is placed into an account. Upon entering the jail, a full body scanner is utilized to locate any items they may have concealed on their person. We have found many things hidden on people since we've started using the body scanner, and it has prevented harmful items from entering the facility. The arrestee is screened by medical staff and then has the opportunity to use the phones or sit in the waiting area while being processed. They will be fingerprinted and photographed and given their booking paperwork while they wait. Classification will ask them various questions to determine where they will be housed if they will stay with us at the jail. We do occasionally receive juveniles for processing. We have to keep them separated from the adults in this section, where they have their fingerprints and photographs taken. Most only stay at the jail a short time before a parent picks them up or they are transported to DJJ. Only those adjudicated as adults will stay long term. This is the escort office. The escorts are responsible for taking the inmates to and from different areas of the jail, court, intake, programs, transportation holding, and other housing units, and medical. The escort position is a very important and active assignment. The transportation cells are a temporary holding area for the inmates waiting to be transported outside of the facility to court or medical appointments. 
Contract employees and certified staff take care of our transportation needs using a fleet of van and other vehicles. Any inmates that aren't being transported outside to court will be seen in these courtrooms over a live video feed. The judge will appear on the screen and can speak directly to the inmates or their counsel. This is where first appearance is held and it's the first time the arrestee is seen by a judge who will determine if they qualify for a public defender, who is an appointed attorney, and a bond is determined. This is our property room where all of the inmates' property that was taken in intake is kept secure. The inmate clothing is washed and all property is placed within an assigned property bag or bin. All property is recorded and kept here until they are released. If an arrestee ends up staying with us because they are not provided a bond or are sentenced, new inmates will receive uniforms, toiletries, and bedding items. The male and female inmates are housed separately. Male deputies with the male inmates and female deputies with the female inmates. This is one of our main housing units. Some housing units have open bunk areas, however most include multiple bed cells that can be locked. The inmates can watch TV or go out on the recreation yard and exercise, with all activities being directed by the officer on duty. The inmates also have access to the phones and can have video visits scheduled with loved ones. Inmates are provided inmate communication devices while they are in jail. They can use these devices to learn more about the jail, participate in programs, educational classes, or communicate with their families. There is a limited entertainment section for their use. Officers have a desk that they may use while working within the unit. Officers have access to a radio, phone, and computer for communication or data entry. No inmate is allowed to pass this yellow line without permission. The Charlotte County Jail is almost entirely paperless, so all reports and checks may be done on the computer. We have a proximity RFID reader, which is used throughout the day to conduct business. Just about everything you do gets logged into the reader, whether it's feeding, issuing toilet paper, or conducting head counts. This provides real-time logging of important information to include inmate locations throughout the facility. You'll notice these red tags around the pod. When it comes time to do a check, the officer walks around the pod and scans these red tags, which shows that the check was done. These are very useful for keeping track of the inmates as well. Each inmate is also given an ID tag, and that tag gets scanned when they receive anything and when they are moving throughout the jail. The jail has a three-story medical unit. On the first floor, the unit has a clinic where the inmates can be seen for regular checkups, dentist visits, or if they need to speak with a mental health practitioner. Multiple procedures may be conducted within the facility to include IVs, x-rays, and wound care. Those inmates requiring emergency or specialty care may be referred to external providers. The second and third floor contains housing infirmary areas. These are used to supervise inmates that may have medical or mental health issues that require increased medical observation and assistance. HPOD is our main male confinement unit. It is made up of four smaller units and primarily houses the inmates who are on disciplinary status, protective custody, or on administrative confinement. Maximum segregation inmates are housed here, which are the highest security level of classification in the jail. Staff are required to supervise all movement in this area, while still allowing inmates the ability to have recreation, showers, and visitation. The jail has an on-site kitchen, where all the inmates' meals are prepared. Meals and trays are prepared by the inmate workers and service is closely supervised by jail staff each day. The inmates get three meals each day that are prepared from a menu approved by medical and a dietitian. Meals are delivered and served within the unit. Each unit is provided with a washer and dryer for inmates to utilize. The main laundry is used for bulk bedding and other laundering needs. The inmate workers wash all the sheets, blankets, and uniforms throughout the day. Clean linen is delivered to the units, as well as all supplies needed for operations. Inmates within the housing units may wish to purchase additional items during their stay. The jail provides a store, also known as commissary, for inmates to order from. The commissary is run by an outside company. The commissary workers fill orders and deliver to the housing units. Family members can also order items online from the store for delivery. While inmates are incarcerated, the jail provides opportunities for various programs and classes that may help in rehabilitation. Inmates can be assigned to work details depending on how they are classified. They can request to work in different positions. Once classified and medically cleared, they may be utilized to clean the floors, 
pack commissary orders, or work in the kitchen. Some of the sentence inmates can also work outside the jail on the lawn crew or the hydroponic garden. These inmates are the ones you see with the orange uniforms and are the only ones allowed outside the jail. When an inmate is ready for release, they will be brought back to intake and taken to the releasing area. The releasing jail tech will complete their paperwork, give them back their property, and they will be on their way. Hi, I'm Major Mike Anderson, and I currently serve as the Detention Bureau Commander. I want to thank you for taking your time to tour our jail. I believe that we have one of the best facilities in the state. My staff of certified officers and civilian personnel are dedicated to the mission and core values of the Charlotte County Sheriff's Office. Together, we operate a safe and secure environment for our inmates, arrestees, and staff. I trust you'll consider our agency for your future career in law enforcement. Have a good day.